Hello guys, uh, today we are going to build a search engine uh, using PHP and MySQL that will capture our records we'll, we'll have, we'll, that will display our records uh, in this area and if there is no record found it should tell us no record found in the database the database is CI is user and we are going to be searching the emails so uh, let's get it started here i have a skeleton view of uh, the html and this is the css uh, by now i assume uh, you already know so the css and the html aspect i'll not bore you with that so uh, let's just go into our php and we code our project the page is there like usual we have been doing set our connection up there to the database that's our connection to the database and uh, let's come and write some PHP here for this way our processing will be done write some line of code and we'll say if if is set what are we setting to submit this this line of code here simply mean if the submit button is clicked then we should go ahead and do the following uh, I give this I always call it the search variable and uh, it's a post then what are we the value we want to search inside the text box is the name we have given it there which is the search text so here is search text excuse me for that search text and if that is well then we should go ahead and write our query and our query, our query will read like this select all from you as I've told you that our field is uh, our table field our table name is user so we are going to select all from user where our email here yes that's where the condition will be so select all select all from user where our query is still not yet done we have more because we are building a search engine just like the one google use so it will use some prediction algorithms so uh, we still on that where email scrolls Uh, email is equals it's always good to wrap your variables inside two curly brackets so that they are not altered so our variable there that is going to be a code is the search variable here is saying where this field inside the database is equal, is equal to this one which has been specified by the user that's what that means so if it's exactly the same, it should give us information, feedback, or because we are going to have more option. You have always seen it with Google when someone tried to type something in the search, it keeps predicting what you are typing. So that's how that is built. So let's build our search engine and see. Uh, this next one is we put those percentage sign there this one mean if the first word matches the other one should also predict for us what we are about to type then if the last word also based on the last word we put there and if, in, if the word is also in the middle so you do that and we don't need our or again here but that's where we are ending there 
so this square is going to do that such so we come here and this one will return to us uh, what I will refer to as a such set let's do a lie query show connection and also our query so if this is not successful should we kill our server? I say no. Uh, we should go ahead and should go ahead. If it is not a uh, side set, should go ahead and die. Um, give a user this kind of message query fail to execute. Reason we can connect. Our, our reason will be captured inside of SQLI a function that up and not oops this that up and at our connection and if we have managed to succeed there that we have not that we that we did not that we have not died then we should go ahead we are we will succeed that step there then we should go ahead and also write some while loop here so you say while while such equals my sqli fetch a soft the fetch a soft function help you uh, get the record in the database so um, such set yeah I will not jump because it will cost me issue with sublime text so should come ahead and have our list style here and our PHP that will echo for us echo for us the search variable oops excuse me for that it's going to echo for us the name which is exactly like one in the database and the one we will be searching the, the field we are searching here in the database is uh, oops, is the email field so we just name it email so we say email this point let's jump out of the PHP okay PHP Again, again here. If that's okay, then we should have some if statement giving us some something. So you say if my SQLI numbers uh, such set is equals zero. Okay. What do we do? And then we should have a message saying no such result from we just say no result from no result from Go ahead and also jump out of the PHP. Mm. And close our PHP. 
else we have to also close another one php we should also jump out of the search field the search there the, the if i mean excuse me so uh let's hope everything is fine we are going to test our code try to debug and see and it seem like we don't have any bug let's try to search for the information assuming we just write what so say no result found and uh if you can see critically here there was no one here which means we are right so let's try to type info infonet solution dot com let's try to type infonet solution dot com when you search it is found what if we try the other one mat dot at gmail dot com it is found and we check in the database we have that kind of record and that's how you go basically with uh, with the whole uh, with the whole uh, search uh, the whole search designing your search maybe in your project and we have now built what I, what is a uh, search engine this is what google does and that's how it works uh, thank you for watching and always remember to subscribe uh, and god bless you